Try Parmalat Everfresh in its new easy-to-open, easy-to-pour, non-spill pack. Parmalat. Well, nothing gets more feel-good than being in this kitchen, cooking with asparagus and having Zozo over. How are you, Zozo? I'm good. I just saw Graham at the corner of my eye and I you got saw Graham? Where is he? Too. Do you want to, do you want to hug him quickly? Come in here. Graham's Yay, back from his back. travels. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, what do I, what do I do? Oh, wow. okay, that's um, okay. Oh, now, oh, now you're stuck. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're cooking as asparagus in the kitchen. Yes. And Graham and Zozo are stuck together. But that's okay. Okay, release. Because <laughs> this recipe has been passed down from generation to generation, right, Zozo? Wrong, Ilona. <laughs> it is just my recipe, but I will pass it down to you if you so wish. How are we making this? Okay, so we're making an asparagus quiche. We've been talking about asparagus all morning, so it's only fitting. So in here I've got some softened butter, a bit of grated parmesan cheese, mixy mixy. Okay. You make this look easy. And then flour, cake flour in here, baking powder in there. There we go. Mix the two up. In there. This is like the easiest pastry recipe. There's no rolling involved, none of that <laughs> fussing. So just mix it up together, add just enough egg. To, make to sort it of make moist. it into a soft dough, exactly. Then you just press the dough into the tin. So you don't have to roll it out, you don't have to like chill it for too long. You it's use one your of those, fingers basically. Exactly, okay. it's one of those very forgiving doughs. So once you've done that, so add a little bit more egg, keep mixing. I'm just gonna fast forward through this process. And then once it's baked, you, well, once you press it in, you bake it 180 degrees until it's just crispy. You don't even have to like line it and put beans in. It's like the best pastry. In so the you, you just flash, does it rise a little bit? It does rise a little bit, but if you dock it, okay. that's po poking it with a fork, it should be okay. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll dock it, so I'll so dock then, it. So then um, bake it for, uh, for uh, like 20 minutes until it's golden, and then here we've got the filling going. Okay, this is so our inside. some eggs, some nutmeg, delicious. And then a bit of salt. Right. Some pepper. Of course. You're gonna whisk for me? No problem. A bit of pomelat cream. Woo, slow Ooh, down, slow that's, down. that's, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, whisk that together. This becomes our custard to fill our quiche. And then, of course, here's where the asparagus comes in. So, we've got some green spears and some white asparagus spears, which we've blanched, and I'm sure Michael showed you how to do that in a very easy way. Yeah, he's so quite take, good. I'm choosing the Parmalat um, mozzarella cheese slices today, Ooh. just because I'm into the mozzarella flavor right Did now. Did I do this right, Zola? You did a fantastic job. You're Thank a great Thank you very whisker. much, yeah. So, I'm then you take cook. your asparagus, and you just wrap it in the parmalat cheese, like so. Mm -hmm. And then here is our blind baked, sorry, let me stretch over. Do you want to scoot your bowl just a there second? There we go. Okay, so here we've got some lined already with some white asparagus and some green asparagus. So you can see our parmalat cheese nicely wrapped. Our white asparagus, we've just cut in half just because it's a bit thicker than right. the green asparagus. And is it okay if they kind of peep over a little bit? Of course, bit? it gives it character. <laughs> you know, things that are homemade need to look homemade. homemade. So don't okay. try to be too perfect, right. just do your thing. Okay, you're gonna pour in your custard. Okay, so our insides. And how much okay. of it do I put in? So pour just to the top of the rim. You don't want it to, to sort of spill over the pastry. But I mean, a three egg custard should be enough for this type of this size tart. And then back into the oven, 180 degrees until it's golden and the custard is set. And hey presto. Oh wow. There it See, is, the asparagus quiche wrapped in parmalat cheese. Cheese custard. Yeah. Cheese. But what did you put on top? So that's a, just a bit more mot um, a bit more parmesan cheese. Okay, yeah. just to finish it off. So that's it, should I cut a slice? Listen, this looks fairly easy. I definitely, definitely have some. Keyword for today is uh, asparagus. Asparagus to 33728. To, uh, the keyword is parmalat. <laughs> keyword is parmalat. See, yes. I almost forgot about it. You did almost forget. Keyword is uh, parmalat. Parmalat. To 33728 to get a link to the recipe and to this. recreate this beautiful asparagus tart. Let's take a look at how Zola created this. Mix butter and parmesan. Add flour, baking powder and salt. Stir in enough egg to form a dough. Press into tin, prick then bake until golden. Wrap asparagus with cheese slices then place onto pastry. Whisk together eggs, cream, seasoning and nutmeg then pour onto asparagus. Bake at 180 degrees until egg is set. Our keyword is parmalat. Parmalat to 33728 to recreate this beautiful recipe. That's and we're going to let everyone in our kitchen taste oh. guests first. Well, Matt, you need to. This is all yours. Matt, Matt. You this are is all yours. Star. You've earned a little taste of right, Zola's. Passed down from generation to generation. Well, from me to Ilana. Be honest, eh? Be honest. <laughs> what does it taste like? Is it's it amazing? It's a traditional Zulu dish. Oh, it's fresh. Definitely fresh. Here you go. It's fresh. Mm. Do you like cheese? I, I feel like, like I'm fresh. eating healthy food. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, dude, but thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and yeah, well well We well some of your music playing in the background, and watch out for that album dropping next year, February, you said, hey? Yes. Matthew O'Connell, also follow him at I am underscore M O C, and you could take it slow, get down. Yeah. With that yeah. swag like that. Listen, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna celebrate this special yes. day. Yes. Yes. Our yes. assistant yes. Yes. manager, Louise, Louise. it's her birthday. Oh. One, two, three. Now, guys, we're gonna go. It's that time of the show. Thank you oh. so much for joining us. We, we appreciate sharing every morning with you. Welcome back to Graham. Welcome yeah. back to you. Thank you. That's it. We'll see you again bright and early tomorrow morning. We love you. Goodbye.